Did you know that your vehicle may be equipped with a convenient feature that can help make maneuvering a trailer in reverse easy? It's called Pro Trailer Backup Assist, and there are a few steps you'll need to do first in order to use it. Let me explain. Before you begin, you'll need a few things to help with the setup. Your supplied quick start setup guide with measurement card, a tape measure, a pen or pencil, an assistant to help out if needed, as well as the checkered sticker that comes with your guide, which I'll tell you about later. First, you'll need to connect your vehicle to your trailer on a level surface. For best results, it's recommended to use a drawbar with the appropriate rise or drop to position your trailer level to the ground. Then line up your vehicle and trailer by pulling forward so they're in line with one another. Second, from inside the vehicle, to begin programming, press the center of the Pro Trailer Backup Assist button located to the right of the steering wheel, here. Using the up and down and left and right arrows of the five-way controls, spell out the name of the trailer using the right arrow to advance to the next letter. Press OK once finished. Next, select the type of brake system for your trailer, electric, which is the default, or surge type, and press OK. Now, select the brake effort for your trailer, low, which is the recommended setting for most trailers, medium, or high if your trailer requires more aggressive braking, like if you have a larger, heavier trailer, for instance. And since Pro Trailer Backup Assist is not currently compatible with fifth wheel or gooseneck type trailers, conventional will be the default trailer type. You'll get a message asking if you want to add Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Select Yes to confirm. A prompt will direct you to straighten the trailer, if necessary, to continue setup. You'll then get another message directing you to put the vehicle in park and to place the Pro Trailer Backup Assist target sticker on your trailer tongue. Now I'm going to tell you how to place the checkered sticker I just mentioned. The sticker acts as a target that the Pro Trailer Backup Assist feature and rear view camera use to track which direction the trailer is moving. Take the checkered target sticker and measurement card with you to the rear of the vehicle. You want to place the sticker within 7 to 22 inches from the center of the trailer hitch ball. You'll need to make sure to place the sticker on a flat horizontal surface that is visible by the rear view camera. This is where an assistant would be helpful. Once the sticker is in place, you'll need to use your tape measure to get and record several measurements. First, measure the horizontal distance from the license plate to the center of the hitch ball and write it down. Next, measure the horizontal distance from the center of the hitch ball to the center of the sticker and the distance from the rear view camera to the center of the sticker. Keep in mind, the location is not dependent on a straight or A-frame type, but based on where a surface is available that meets the requirements. And finally, the horizontal distance from the tailgate to the center of the trailer axle if it's a single axle trailer. If the trailer has two or more axles, measure to the center point between both axles, here. Okay, now I'm going to tell you how to input the measurements into the system's information display. To input the measurements you recorded outside the vehicle, use the up and down arrows on the five-way switch on the left side of the steering wheel to increase or decrease the numbers as needed, like this. Then OK to confirm each measurement and to move on to the next measurement. Once you've added the last measurement, the information display will show you all of the entered measurements. If correct, select Confirm and hit OK. Once you confirm the measurements, the system will automatically search for the sticker target and highlight it with a red circle. And a message will ask if the sticker is circled. If it is, select Yes to confirm. You'll get a confirmation message letting you know setup is complete and measurements are saved. If you do not see the sticker circled, select No. Make sure the measurements are correct and that the trailer and vehicle are positioned straight. Finally, you'll need to drive the vehicle straight forward between 4 and 25 miles per hour as directed until you get a message confirming calibration is complete.